lot of you have asked us to do a video on how to crate train your puppy. Here we go. We're going to show you how to crate train your puppy. As you can see, Memphis is already inside of the crate. Um, our crate is a metal wire crate with a plastic bottom. You can come up. You can come. The crate we use for Memphis is a 36 inch metal wire crate. You can tell it's wire. The plastic bottom here slides out to make it easy to clean if you need to, slides back in. We also have a cover on our crate. Uh, basically we have that because it makes it a little darker in there. Makes it feel a little bit more like a den for Memphis. As you can see, um, we've already been working with Memphis on crate training and she's fairly comfortable in her crate as of right now. So the first few tips for crate training that I want to give you are, you want the crate to always be a positive experience. You want the puppy to think that this is their home. Basically like a child's bedroom, this is the dog's bedroom. This is supposed to be the safe, safe space for the dog. One of the ways you can do that, never, ever, ever use a crate for punishment. You always want it to be a positive experience. Constantly giving, you know, rewards, treats, positive reinforcement when the dog goes into the crate. Never, ever yell at the dog, bang on the crate. You don't want it to be a negative thing. You want it to be a safe place, be their home. Now, the first thing you need to do is get the dog used to the crate, the noise, the sounds that it makes. You want them to understand that it's not going to hurt them, that it's, that it's okay for them to be in there. One of the ways to do that, as you can see, we have Memphis inside of her crate with the door open and she has a Kong filled with peanut butter. We threw the Kong inside the crate and Memphis goes in there and enjoys the Kong. Uh, the first few times she did try to carry it out of the crate so all I did was pick it back up and toss it back in there. Eventually she realized she had to stay in there to actually enjoy her treat. That was how we kind of got her used to going in and out of the box. Uh, again, positive experience. If I'm in here, I get this food. I like this food. Maybe I'll hang out in here. Crate training is not a super fast process. You do want to take things a little bit slow because, again, you don't want the dog to be fearful. You want the dog to know that that's a comfortable, safe place for them to be. Crate training is one of the fastest, most effective ways to potty train a puppy. It is also a great way to keep your puppy safe while you are gone at work and cannot actually be watching what your puppy is doing. A crate is going to give them a safe place to be where they cannot destroy things, choke on things, and harm themselves. We keep a bag of treats near our crate, and every time we want Memphis to go in the crate, we give her one of these treats. As you can tell, she already knows what this is. Memphis, can you kennel up? You should always use a command to get your dog to go into the kennel. It should be the same command every time. Memphis, can you kennel up? Kennel up. Good girl. Once a puppy crosses the line all the way into the crate, you can reward them with their treat. Um, Remember, always use the same command every single time. Memphis, kennel up. Good girl. Very positive, reinforce immediately. You just want them to be very comfortable with this process. Memphis, kennel up. Kennel up, girl. She's like, oh, there's peanut butter in there. You gotta go all the way in. Kennel up, come up. Kennel up. Good girl. Now, a lot of times when you put your puppy in the kennel, Eventually, especially in the beginning, your puppy is going to cry. They're going to make noise. They're going to want out of the crate. Do not go to your dog while they are crying. See how she's crying? It's because she can see me. You do not want to go to your pet and let them out of the crate while they are crying because the minute they start crying and you go and you open the door and let them out, they're going to know, hey, if I cry, you're going to come get me. So you want to wait until your pet is calm and laying down and no longer crying before you actually go and let them out of the crate. Another really good way to get your puppy used to being in the crate is to actually feed your puppy while in the crate. They'll learn that, hey, I get food in here. Food in here is a good thing. We do not leave food or water in the crate with the dog while we are not home. Basically, if they have too much water and you don't make it home to let them out, they're going to have an accident in the crate. You really don't want them to do that. Crate training is effective mainly because most dogs will not soil where they sleep. They don't like to go to the bathroom in their own little room. So they will try to hold it as long as they can. With puppies, you do not want to leave them in the crate. Gosh, 8 to 12 weeks old, really you should be letting them out at least every 2 to 3 hours. Um, if you're gone at work, try to have a dog sitter come over to be able to let them out and help you let them out. 
at night, same thing, wake up every few hours to let the dogs out. The general rule of thumb is for every month old a dog is, that's about how long they can hold their bladder. So if your puppy is eight weeks old, that makes them two months old, they can generally hold their bladder for about two hours. They can hold it a little bit longer at night because they're not as active at night. Now at night, your puppy may cry and want out of the crate. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's because they have to go to the bathroom or if it's because they just want out. What we do is we use a command when we hear them crying, you know, we'll, you wait a few minutes, see if they stop, if they don't stop. If you go to get up and let them out, we always use the command, want to go outside and go potty or want to go outside. And if the dog continuously gets excited when they hear that, usually means they really have to go. But you'll kind of be able to tell as you work with crate training on your dog when they're faking it and when they're not. After time, your dog should no longer actually cry in their crate. They should realize that this is a fun, safe environment for them to be in. Now I'm sure I did not answer all of your questions on this topic, so I am going to put a few links down in the video description to different websites on how to properly crate train your dog. You can also leave questions down below. I'll try to answer them as I can. Again, I get a lot of emails, so sometimes that can be difficult to do. Uh, yes, Memphis made this video a little bit hard to do because she definitely didn't want to stay in her crate. She's like, it's not crate time yet. Um, we also use a command at night when we put her in there so she knows that it's bedtime. We tell her, you know, go on, go to bed. And she'll usually go right to the crate, knows where it is, knows how to do it. Same thing with uh, Oakley because Oakley still uses a crate. Um, after time, you may not have to crate train your dog. Oakley likes to stay in her crate because she thinks it's her safe place. Shelby, Shelby stayed crated till she was about four years old and then now she has full run of the house. Some dogs... You know, we'll get over having to use one, and some dogs kind of don't. Shiloh actually only used her crate till she was about a year old, so it really just depends on the dog and how destructive they really are. A uh, few other tips that I'm thinking of. Some people like to put a blanket or a shirt or something in the crate that has their scent on it. You can do that. We don't usually do that because I didn't want her to chew it up and choke on it. She, You know, if they're big-time chewers, that's probably not the best idea. If they're not big time chewers, then that's something you can definitely try. What? You want to go see your sisters? So there you have a basic crate training video. Remember, crate training your puppy is not only the first step in keeping your puppy safe while you're not home, it is also the first step in potty training your puppy. We do plan on doing another video, hopefully next Monday, on how to potty train a puppy where we will share the tips and tricks that we use to potty train Memphis and every other puppy we've ever had, like Shelby. We hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.